What do you think is kind of something good about Korean moms? I think Korean moms are great at um, sort of making other children, sort of taking care of other, like friends' children as well. Yeah, right. The tongue. Right. Yeah. And so I can, you know, at almost any time be like, you know, Serena, can you pick my son up yeah. and just mm -hmm. can you watch him for a couple of hours? It's not mm -hmm. so difficult to ask for something like that. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Canada, I would probably look, be looking for a babysitting service, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And just find a babysitter to come watch my kid for a couple of hours because I don't really want to impose yeah. on I, someone mm -hmm. else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here, I don't feel bad asking for that. Yeah. And also, I feel okay I, anytime. You can drop your child off with me anytime. And if he comes with me, I'll make sure that he eats. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll make sure that yeah. if there's things to get done, I'll, yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. And uh, I've really um, met quite a few great, like a lot of really, really generous moms mm. who have been always like so, so kind, mm -hmm. you know, so ready to help. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I really love that about mm -hmm. being here and being surrounded by Korean moms all the time. Yeah, yeah. I think a borderline sacrificial, um, the sort of attitude moms have and how they adjust really well to becoming a mum mm -hmm. in Korea. You know, first of all, their names change. You know, once yeah. you become a mum, you're not Sue anymore. You're someone's mum. Mm -hmm. You know, in Korean. And um, for me, that was really hard to accept, maybe because I have like half English mentality. But a lot of the Korean mums that I've seen adjust to that really well. And I find that quite admirable because mm -hmm. it's a really hard thing to do, mm -hmm. you know. And, and then they dedicate their time and almost their life almost. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say it's totally sacrificial, but they adjust to this new lifestyle yeah. as someone's mum. Yeah. Much better, I think, than someone <laughs> like me who wants to stay as an individual who isn't someone's mum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's quite admirable. Um, another thing that I find admirable about Korean moms is how resourceful they are mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. how they I mean, they do a lot of things with intention, and I don't mean in it in a bad way, but a lot of times when you have these play dates, mm -hmm. um, the moms want to know information about where <laughs> right. to send their kids, it's or true. you know who the best teachers are, mm. or you know they want to, you know, get information out sure. of other moms. Mm -hmm. So they're very good at that. They're very good at researching mm -hmm. and sharing and, and sharing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they're also very good at sharing the information. I find so too. Yeah. Like if I need something, if I want something, they're like, oh, you know, check out this place, check out that place. And yeah. they really have a whole list of things that yeah. uh, they recommend, which mm -hmm. is great because I don't have to. I mean, being working moms, we know how busy it is, right? Mm -hmm. But if you have someone who has done that and they so readily share it with you, I mean, yeah. you're just so grateful for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're very straight to the point with those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Like I could mm -hmm. send a mom a message and be like, oh, you know, I'm looking for a, you know, a place to, uh, to teach my kids swimming, do you mm. know any good places? Yeah. And then the mom will write back with a list of places yeah, that she so sent true. her kids to mm. and all the teachers, all the specific teacher that's names right, yeah. that the kid uh, learned swimming from. And yeah, they're mm. very, very informative. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs>